Hey guys, it's Melissa Martini on behalf of designbundles.net. Today we're going to be talking about how to calibrate the PicScan mat in Silhouette Designer software. First of all, the PicScan mat is an amazing added feature to your Silhouette machine. It allows you to cut specific parts out of photos that you've taken and printed, or cut individual images from scrapbook papers. You can also digitize your stamp collection and save paper by not having to print registration marks on your work. It can print all the way to the edge of the media, and then you can place it on the PicScan mat and cut around whatever image that you have chosen to create. If you forget to add registration marks to a project for some reason, you can use the PicScan mat as an alternative. And you can also cut out your children's artwork and do 3D and decoupage things with the mat. So the first thing you have to do when using the PicScan mat is to calibrate it. What you're going to want to do is go over to the PicScan mat icon. And on B3, you're going to find this up here at the top. We're going to open PicScan mat. Cancel this. And where it says calibration none, we're going to do import from file, camera calibration, show calibration test card, and you're going to want to print this out. So just go to file and print and let it print from your printer. Once you've printed it, take a photo of the page with a camera or smartphone that you'd like to calibrate. When taking the photo, ensure that you have a flat surface and the area is well lit. Take the photo straight over the calibration page to ensure that it is straight. You want to make sure that it kind of comes up to the edge on all sides of the screen that you're taking a photo with. Now you're going to import the photo to your PC by just clicking on this plus sign right here. So when we hit plus, I'm going to find the one that I did, which is right here, and it's going to process. And it shows now that it's calibrated, so all is well, and we can go on to doing our image. Okay, for this tutorial, I'm just going to go and open up a Design Bundles logo, and we'll go to View Image. And I'm just going to print this out so I can show you that we can cut around this word after we've printed it out without doing any registration marks or anything like that. So I'm going to print it from my printer and then I'm going to get it set up with my PicScan mat by taking a picture of it on my phone. So this is a Design Bundles logo that I printed out and I've just laid it on the PicScan mat. Now you want to just line your phone up like this so it can read all the registration marks and go ahead and take a photo. And then we're going to upload this into Silhouette as well. Okay, now I'm going to click Import PicScan Image from File. And I just sent this picture to myself that I took. So I'll go ahead and open that up. And it will take a second to read the image. And it's going to calibrate it. And what will happen is you'll see the screen actually change. And it will go from showing a normal mat to the PicScan mat with our image attached to it. So we'll just give this one second for it to load. Okay, so now after it's loaded, we have our picture that we printed on the actual PicScan mat inside of our silhouette. So what we're going to want to do is trace our design. That way we can give it cut lines. So we're going to open the trace window, select trace area. This is kind of small to work with, but it will work. We'll just go around and trace. We may need to zoom in just a bit to see what we're doing. I'm going to turn off the high pass filter, change the scale down to about six or seven, and then just play with the threshold until I think I have pretty clean lines. And I think that that will work. So what we're going to do is hit trace. Now we don't need it to cut right here. So what we'll do is release the compound path. because We only want it to cut around our words. So we don't need this box that we added for the trace. Okay, so once we have that, we're gonna go over here to send a silhouette. And let me go ahead and load my mat. So I'm just taking the pigskin mat and lining it up just as I would a normal mat and doing load cut mat. And when I'm doing this tutorial with you guys, we're just using copy paper, so I want to make sure to change that in my settings. Okay, so we have the mat loaded, so we're just going to go to adjust cut settings. We want to do cuts, 
and we're just using copy paper. And then I have it on two and we're gonna do Pull this down a little bit and we are going to send it to the silhouettes now right now it's just going around and finding all the registration marks that are on our books and mats so you'll see it reading the mats And now it's done, and we're going to unload, and then let me just change the angle of the camera here, and you can see, let's pick up the paper this way. This is a very fine cut, so I'm going to lose some of it, but just want to kind of show you how this works. So you can imagine this if you're doing um, printables or whatever, it will actually just go through and it reads the mat and cuts whatever you're working with. Okay, now we are going to try a different kind of file. I've just created something that says thank you for your purchase. We're going to import from file and I have already uploaded it to my computer so I'm just going to find it in my computer and open it up in PicScan. We're going to give it just a minute to think and load it to our mat. Okay, now we have it loaded so we're going to just create our own little tag. So we'll do a little square and then we'll take a circle, hold down the shift key while you do the circle to create a punch. And we'll take both of these and just align them in the middle of one another, excuse me, not the middle, in the center, so they're centered, and then just group it. That way they're all the same. Now we're going to copy this. So Command C, Command V to paste. And we'll go over and place it on our next one. And we'll do this down this row, and then we're just going to align everything in the center. So we'll select all of these, align them in the middle, space them out, and then hit group to group all of them, copy and paste again, and we'll move those over to this side. So we've just created cut lines for our file that we created. And this is just a real quick and simple, um, like I said, hang tag that you can use if you have you're selling things, you have a boutique or whatever you want to do, you can hang this on um, your items or give it to your customers with a little thank you gift or whatever. So we have this created. So now what we want to do is load our mat. Okay, so we're going to take our pick scan mat again and we're going to load it in here like this. It's loaded, we're going to click send a silhouette. And we're going to adjust the cut settings and we're doing cut and it's just going to do these cut lines and we're using cardstock and then if we need to adjust the blade from here we want to make sure to do that so I had my blade on a two for the paper a minute ago so we'll just move it up to the three And then we're going to click send a silhouette on the computer and let it cut. Now what it's going to do is first read the registration marks all the way around the map. So you'll see it going through. This is the same as if you had printed the registration marks out on paper. So it'll go through and do that and then it will cut. Okay, so it just finished cutting and you can see that we have our perfect cut lines around our labels. So the pigskin mat is amazing for making tags, labels, stickers, and many other things. 
If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Have a great day.